Welcome to Hangstress Hot Rods Collector Car Showroom. We are located in Daytona Beach, Florida. We are five miles from Daytona Beach and another five miles in the other direction you will find Daytona International Speedway. So there's a lot to do here. We have a 25,000 square foot indoor showroom where we house typically 60 to 65 cars, uh, all of which we own. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out hangsters.com. That is our website. Uh, as soon as the vehicle is funded, paid in full, the vehicle comes down off of our website. However, all of our vehicles stay up on YouTube for you to view at any times. Uh, we view, we post anywhere from uh, two to three videos per week uh, between our two stores. And again, they never come down. So you never know whether you're watching a current piece of inventory unless you visit our website. The collector car market's very strong right now, not only for muscle cars, but also for some of the older vehicles like the one we're going to present to you today, this 1985 GMC pickup truck. The Broncos, uh, the Chevy K Blazers, uh, the full-size uh, GMC Chevrolet pickup trucks, mid-80s, early 90s, all very, very strong right now. Uh, a lot of people are getting tired of paying the depreciation on new vehicles, so they want a daily driver or something they can drive that not only looks the part, looks cool, uh, it's got some nostalgia, but also um, it's going to hold their value or even appreciate where you can enjoy these things for two, three, five years and they're holding steady or even appreciating in value rather than going out and buying a new $60,000 pickup truck and in a year and a half it's worth forty-five dollars or even less. So, without further ado, 350, power steering, power brake, AC, 1985 GMC Sierra. Many portions of this truck have been redone. Uh, you're going to see that throughout this video. But as you can see underneath the hood there, pretty clean looking truck. And it does have, uh, you know, since we are creeping into the middle 80s, uh, you are getting the power steering, power brakes, and air conditioning that might not be available uh, unless they were upgraded on your late 60s, early 70s pickup trucks. Great color combination on the truck. Um, it's like a midnight blue color. Uh, upgraded front grill, that's not a factory grill. Uh, front bumper is in great shape. Nice chrome on the front bumper. Um, it's not all scratched up or marred up. Uh, down the sides of the truck, the paint is driver quality paint job. Uh, if you look real close on the hood, you'll see some dirt specks in the paint uh, that were there when whoever painted it did the truck. But overall, very nice paint job on the truck. Um, there's no spider webbing, no cracking, no blistering, uh, neither high nor low. Uh, we put new vent seals around the uh, front windows, so those are all sealed up where they are generally rotted. Uh, window glass on the truck all the way around is in very, very good condition. Uh, you have dual chrome mirrors. Looking into the interior of the truck, uh, most of it is brand new. Uh, the door panels, uh, the carpeting, the floor mats, as you can see, they still have covers on them. Uh, somebody has reupholstered the seat. Uh, it's got a black vinyl and cloth mix. Uh, a headliner in the truck is like a vinyl. It's black. Uh, black sun visors, black dashboard, uh, all in nice shape. Uh, none of the dash is cracked up, discolored, sun faded, anything like that. Uh, aftermarket steering wheel, as you can see. Um, yeah, really good looking. New weather stripping all the way around the doors here. Really good looking truck on the inside. Somebody has sprayed inside the bed a like a rhino line material. That is all brand new. So the bed's not all scratched up, marred up. Uh, looking down the side, both driver and passenger side, again, really nice looking truck uh, from afar and up close. A new chrome rear bumper. Got the uh, license plate lights there on either side. Tailgate's in good shape, both outside and inside. Looking down the passenger side of the truck, same as the driver's side, it's nice and straight. Good looking paint, good looking door fitment. Really nice high quality truck. Checking out the passenger side, it's going to be the same as the driver's side. Uh, the vinyl on the armrests on both sides are in good shape. Uh, door panels are plastic. We'll find out later if the 
uh, power, one of those power windows or door locks, both. Looks like they might have both. Um, again, passenger side carpet, seat, everything, headliner, it's all brand new. Real nice inside, real, real nice truck. Custom deluxe badging on the uh, passenger side fender, same as the driver's side. Great looking truck. We've already sold two of these on the past 60 days. I'm sure this one will be the third one. As you can see, it's a great looking truck. We're going to go out and we're going to throw it on the rack right now. We're going to take a peek at what it looks like underneath. Our 1985 GMC pickup truck is looking outstanding underneath. There's a lot of black up there, so I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, the starter's in the way too, but the oil pan up there is nice and dry. The uh, front wheels, disc brakes, a set of dual headers coming down off the side of the motor, dropping down into a two and a half inch dual exhaust. Tranny pan's nice and dry. The flywheel cover is off because down here we get a lot of heat. A lot of people take those off, I guess, pulls it down. I don't know, we get so many of them that don't have a flywheel cover on. We try to put as many on as we can, but we run out of them. So. Uh, frame rails on the truck look to be in good shape. Same thing with the cross member across the front here and across the center of the truck. As you can see, the floor pans are all in great shape. The gas tank's covered up, but that appears to be functioning. We wouldn't be able to drive it. Dual, chrome, or dual, dual mufflers, again, the chrome pipes leading out the back, dropping down underneath the uh, rear quarters. On both the driver's side and passenger side have some chrome tips going out there. Drum brakes in the rear. Rear end on the truck is nice and dry. Take a look up at the bed. That's nice condition up there. No denting, no rust issues. Again, that's a uh, newer rear bumper. There's no issues up there to speak of. Really nice, really solid, good looking truck, both on top and underneath. What's nice is we offer financing on these trucks. It's very, very easy to do. Credit app on our website takes five to six minutes to complete. Goes to the collector car lenders. They will contact you directly to discuss your down payment, monthly payment, rate, and term with you. Um, if you like what you hear, uh, you can go ahead and move forward with the, with the sale. Uh, generally 10% down is the approval on these things and then the remaining balance over five, seven, or 10 years. Uh, if you're a cash buyer, that's easy too. Just wire us the money. We start preparing a truck for shipment and get it ready to ship on out of here. Um, you're also, uh, you know, there's no problem with getting a, a loan from uh, your lender, whether it's, you know, a credit union or a bank that you're used to dealing with. If they don't like the truck, certainly you have the option to do that as well. Um, we don't make any money off the financing, so it's, you know, up to you where you want to get the truck financed through. We just have uh, collector car lenders that specialize in this kind of stuff because these things, when you get to a certain age, they don't really book out. Banks don't have books to loan on them, so it makes it a little more difficult to get a loan through a regular lender. Uh, we offer shipping uh, at full retail price anywhere in the lower 48 United States. We offer a 12-month, 12,000-mile powertrain warranty on this truck. Again, at full retail price. It's good at anywhere in the uh, United States. We have a $100 deductible in the warranty. Let's uh, set this thing down on the ground, take it out on the road, and show you how it runs out. I know it has ice cold air conditioning and it has a brand new smelling interior because everything in there is pretty much brand new. But I'm going to show you that right now. Inside of our 1985 GMC pickup truck, we have uh, power windows. Now, I said earlier that we had power door locks. We do not have power door locks. Uh, what else? Horn. Turn signals. Driver's side. Passenger side. The clock is ticking in this thing, which is unbelievable. Battery, oil, temperature, all functioning, along with fuel. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but we have the AC on and it is ice cold. The radio is not functioning. 
I don't know why, and we don't mess with radios, so it is a Pioneer uh, radio. Uh, I didn't look under the dash to see if there's speakers or not, but it's not working, so it won't be working when the truck ships. But as you can see, like I said, the uh, carpeting, look, brand new carpeting, brand new floor mats, still have the covers on them, brand new seat. Good looking truck. I did say earlier that this might have power door locks. It does not have power door locks, so you'll have to push the button and turn the key. The response on the wheel is really great. The wheel's off to the left, I don't know, maybe two degrees, three degrees. We're not gonna mess with that. It's not off enough to really worry about it. It's an aftermarket steering wheel, maybe a positioning thing, but truck drives outstanding. It has a nice smooth ride to it. Uh, it has a nice sound out of the exhaust too. It, it sounds like a you know a little bit of a beefy sound to it but it's not overly loud where you're screaming at each other in the cab or anything. The speedometer is definitely off. We'll have to see if we can work on that. It's reading I don't know, 50 miles per hour right now. We're probably doing 40, so it's probably 10 miles per hour off. People can never seem to get that right when they change something. They, they put the wrong gear in there for the speedometer, and it, it reads off. And anyways, this one's off enough to worry about. Maybe 10, 15 miles per hour, so we're going to deal with that. The air in this thing is amazing. It's really, really cool. Truck has a nice pickup to it, and we're going to show you that right now. Really smooth, really quiet ride in the cab. Uh, no tire vibrations, no drivetrain vibrations, no noises. Nice cold air, really nice truck. This one should sell quickly. These things, these full-size Chevy pickup trucks, Chevy Blazers, they have such a nice ride to them. They, they really ride like a brand new car or a brand new truck. Maybe even better. It really has a great ride. These pickup trucks, full-size pickup trucks, middle 80s, early 80s, have a tendency to go pretty fast. So please do not hesitate. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hankstress.com is our website. We're going to throw up 80, 90, maybe even 100 photos of this truck today, along with this uh, video presentation we're doing for you right now. Again, the process of buying from Hankstress Hot Rods is very, very easy. A simple phone call or an email inquiry or a uh, text message or a make offer on the make offer tab on our website and we can have things rolling in just a couple hours and have this uh, sitting in your driveway in five to seven business days depending on where you're located at in the country. The whole process is a lot faster than you think. So please check us out. We'd love to earn your business. Hankstress.com is the website and we are in Daytona Beach, Florida.